perform under pressure. When it's not convenient, perform. When they're laughing at you, perform. If they put you out the clip. Sit, sit. Let, let me close you. The, the owner of the vineyard says to the caretaker, cut it down. Tired of it. It's useless. It, it's an eyesore. Destroy it. But listen to the caretaker. Somebody ought to get happy for Jesus. Listen to the caretaker. He says to the owner, it's in the text, leave it alone. I know it's not producing fruit now. <laughs> but, 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 but it can. In other words, the place that it's in can produce. Let, let's say it another way. He says to the, to the owner, he said, let it alone. Give me another year. Point number three. He says, I see potential in the tree. That's my final point. That there's some brothers and sisters sitting here today that have not performed, that, that have not witnessed, that, 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 that you're barren, but, 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 but Jesus is telling me to tell you that, that he sees some potential. <laughs> He's, he said, he said, he said, give me another year. Let me work with the tree. Let, let me pay attention, a little more attention to the tree. He said, let me prune it and let me dig around it. Let me dung it. Let me put some fertilizer and some, 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 some stinky smelling stuff. Let, let, let me turn up the pressure on the tree. Because I see some potential and possibility that it's possible that the tree can produce fruit. Notice, nowhere in the story, help me Jesus, does the caretaker relocate the tree. He doesn't pick up the tree and plant it somewhere else. But he works with the tree right where the tree is. Lord have mercy. I came to tell somebody in Calvary today that God is going to work it out for you right where you are. He's not going to move the test. He's not going to move the struggle. He's not going to move the persecution. But he's going to give you enough power to work with it right where it is. The place can be a blessing. What the enemy meant for evil, God can make it good. The says that the vineyard owner looked at the caretaker and said I'm going to give it another year the Bible gives indication that the caretaker started working with the tree started pruning the tree started digging around the tree it doesn't say so because we do not know the end of the story but I need somebody to believe with me that if the Lord puts his hand on your life if the Lord puts his hand on your life that sooner or later the best of you has got to come out I need somebody to believe that your latter days gonna be better than what has been this is the last time grab your neighbor by the hand shake that hand like you're gonna shake it off and say neighbor I'm in a dry place say neighbor I'm in a dead place say neighbor I'm in a barren place but the place I'm in the Lord gonna bless me and I I am, I am, I bless somebody.
city. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed when I come. I'm blessed when I go. You ain't seen me yet. Cause my best days are before me. I will. I will. I will. Bear fruit. I will. Rise above it all. And when the Lord, please be patient with me. Cause the Lord ain't through with me yet. But when the Lord gets through with me, I shall come forth like pure gold. I got anybody in the room that can believe I can bear some good fruit. I can bear some good fruit. You ain't seen nothing yet. If you didn't like me last year, you ain't gonna be able to stand me this year. Cause I'm on my way. 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 become a blessing. I'm finished, everyone standing. Dead dry tree. But Jesus said, I see something in it. I'm not through with it yet. Can't cut it down. I've already invested too much in his life can't throw her away already invested too much I'm getting ready to pray it's a strange thing because Matthew doesn't record this parable Mark nor John only only look but then Luke writes his gospel to influence human nature. It's Luke's gospel that gives us the humanity of Jesus. So it's not strange. In his book, we find a parable that deals with human nature. The process of fruit bearing. The process of going from good to great. Don't worry about the place you're in. Worry about who's fertilizing your, your roots.